Hey yo, what's up everybody? Holmes here and welcome back to more Dark Souls 3 Ashes of Ariandel DLC walkthrough. Real walkthrough, not a playthrough, with my triple katana build. And yeah, welcome back. Um, today we are going to be taking on part 2 of this DLC. So yeah, let's get to it. So in the last episode we left off after talking to um, Sister Frida. And from that, we're just gonna come here and cut this bridge. Just hit it once and it'll break. Uh, it takes a bit though, but <laughs> it will break. And after it breaks, it's gonna lead, it's gonna allow us to slide down from the bridge. So there we go. Slide down here. Um, this is totally optional. You don't have to take on this area if you don't want to. You could just cross back, like, you know, cross the bridge again and just hang out right. That's where you have to go. But you can get some more stuff here. And once we drop down here, um, you know, follow this route. Alright, and just get over here. And there's going to be a guy here. Um, I recommend you take out this guy because he does shoot arrows. So, you know, those exploding arrows as well. Um, and don't knock him off because there's a platform in the bottom. So if you knock him off, he's just going to be there. He won't die. So, you know, just try to take him out here. Uh, same tactic, you know, just roll around, backstab his ass, do a charge attack while he's getting up, and then dodge away. And bam, up the ass it goes. And yeah, there it is. He's down. Pretty easy. Um, there is a guy just chilling on the side, so we're going to try and pull his ass. He's going to be right over there. Um, you don't actually have to take him on if you don't want to, but I just want to try to finish off as much of them as possible. Um, kind of surprised me that he knows how to platform, but it's not going to help him because he can't get over here. And the guy on the bottom that has like those exploding arrows again. Um, well, not really exploding arrows. It's just that the bow makes that happen. Um, he's already shooting arrows at us. But as long as we stay... You know, closer to the inside, we'll be fine. That guy just totally fell off, so, you know. <laughs> it's all good. Free kill right there. Not gonna complain. Free kill in, uh, in Souls games is always nice. Now we're gonna come down here. There's gonna be a guy who throws spears down here. And also, there's gonna be um, a crystal lizard nearby, too. Right over on the other side. Let me just take care of this guy. Oh, no. Pokemon butt. And down he goes. Got the ember that's chilling on the side. Now let's go ahead and uh, get the crystal lizard. This one, you can if it runs and if it jumps off, it'll die from the fall damage. So, you know, it's, it's not much of a loss there, but if it falls off. So if it runs and if it falls off, don't worry because you're going to get them in pickup. Um, if, but if it runs and then like it gets stuck in the corner and disappears, then... Um, you're gonna have to uh, leave and come back to the area in, in order for it to spawn. So, yeah. Um, let's see here. There's a guy chilling in the bottom. Headshot him. He's not the guy who fell, but... Yeah, there's one that's just chilling in the bottom, but... Yeah, um, he runs away. We're not gonna worry about him too much. There is like three crabs down there, though. So, yeah, and um, instead of spitting water like the ones in the original game does, these ones will spit um, frost, so yeah, be careful. Um, but I'm going to show you guys a really easy way to take those guys down. And just take down this guy. For oh, no, I missed. Oh, no. Damn it. I was kind of hoping to dish out some more damage before I fell. Or before, you know, we fall. And uh, he's just kind of stuck there now. I mean, I guess you could try to cheese him with arrows, but he could block it with a shield. So, let's just fight him here. Fair and square, I guess. Kind of, sort of. But yeah, same deal, you know, when you take on these Vikings. Same, just same thing. Um, just try to wait it out after they get their damage in. Um, circle behind and then backstab him. 
That's how you deal with these guys. Okay. Went from the swing. Is that oh that delay swing always gets me. That delay one. Jump. Okay, he's gonna do this. A little charge attack with his weapon art. Okay. And there we go. Alright, so there's that and then there's the torch guy that we shot and ran away. So here he is. There is a bonfire right up front. Um but we're not gonna We're not gonna go like that just yet. We're gonna take care of the the crab over here. Um these crabs will respawn even if uh after you kill them. So yeah. I don't know. Um I highly recommend you don't rest in the bonfire and just take on this crab. Because uh, if you rest in a bonfire, the, the viking that's up here is going to respawn too. And I don't want that happening because I want to do this. So this is the way, this is like the easiest way to take him down. Um, you come over here and then you do a dropping attack. And it's going to stun him right away. And just go in for a critical like that. And pretty much just rinse and repeat. So after you stun him, you know, just get back up in uh, the root over here. Uh, make sure he doesn't chase you. There is a weird glitch though, where they get on top of the root for, I don't know how, but they do. Like they're under it and all of a sudden they're, they just magically appear as up top. It's a weird random glitch. Um, I don't know if it happened here, but it happened when I was playing um, by myself. So yeah, this is how you take care of them. Just drop down and then do a falling attack and you'll stun them and then just go in for a critical. Alright, so the first one down, the other two, it's under the ice, so once you cross a certain point, um, another one will spawn. The third one, I, I don't know why, but it takes a while for it to spawn. Yeah, there we go, see, here's the second one. And let's just run, run, run. So yeah, same tactic, get back onto the root area, and... You're gonna have to kind of wait for this one because sometimes you get stuck behind the ice if you run too fast. Alright, so. Oh no! <laughs> I fell. Uh, don't hit me, don't hit me. Ooh, okay, good. Alright. Um, so, same tactic. Drop down. Ah, oh, shit. Hopefully, you don't land behind him. Oh no. Yeah, because if you do. Um, and if you don't make it back in front of him in time, he's gonna recover. There we go. Alright. Oh no, I fucked up. I I didn't mean to use my L1 attack. I, I was trying to just do a normal attack, but I don't know why I did an L1 attack. Alright, and... Wow, I'm just fucking up so bad here with that, with that critical. And he got a hit on me. Alright, and here's the frost. It's not as crazy as when it spits water, but um, just do know that it does spit frost, okay? Um, and just be careful because if you get if you get um, the frost spike status effect, uh, it will slow down your stamina region. And the moment it hits you with a frost spike um, status effect, um, you will lose some health. So you know, just be aware of that. Um, let's see. So the bodies that fell. Okay, this one dropped something. The other one didn't drop anything. Okay, and um, there's going to be some tree ladies here that we can take care of. And I would recommend you take care of the one up top first. So it doesn't start like throwing embers all over the place. And, you know, same thing as the other ones we took care of. Homer bone. And then... Take care of this one. It, this this path will lead you to um, a spell. So yeah, it, it actually just it's a little path here with some tree ladies. And oh no, that missed. That was way too far. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, but you know, nothing a little firebomb can fix. Alright, so here it's going to be the final tree lady, and this one is actually pretty dangerous, because um, it has this crazy combo. If you don't, 
If we don't kill it in time, it'll do this crazy combo, which it's gonna do right now. Okay, when it does this, be careful, alright? Get away from her. Because that combo can end you. It does a lot of damage. Um, If it does do that combo, it will go on like... It'll all start crawling like this, but... You know, just stay behind her. Um, Throw fire bombs. And that's how you um, defeat her. Because you throw fire bombs, you stun her ass. And then, you know, just go in for the kill right there. And here is the new spell. Snap Freeze. I haven't actually tested out this, um, this spell yet. But I think it's the spell that lets you shoot ice, like frost out, out of your wand. I think. Because uh, they had a spell like that in the, in the trailer when they released... Um, the trailer for Ashes of Ariandel. They had a um, little showcase of the spell where the character was like shooting like frost out of her wand and stuff. So I'm guessing it's that one. I haven't actually tested it out yet, so I'm not really sure. But there is the third um, crab, which I believe it spawns after you take down the tree ladies. So yeah. And we're just gonna kick, uh, kick his ass the way. Look, look, did you guys see that? He just somehow just kind of like flew up on the roof. I don't know how the heck that happens, but it happens. Yeah, it, I don't know. It, it's so weird. Oh shit. Oh, this guy's... This guy's kicking my ass more than the other two. It's the same thing. It's not like this one has any special things. He doesn't have any special moves or anything like that, so you know, it's the same thing. And it looks like if you just fall on their head, it'll stun them too. But you know, it's best if you just do some fall damage, because I mean, you know, I mean, do some fall dropping attack, because you know, get some extra damage in. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this episode. If you just keep walking forward, there is a drop, and once you drop down there, you can take on the boss. But we're going to save that for the next episode, so I thank you all for watching, and I hope this video has been entertaining and helpful and enjoyable. And if you all found all three of those qualities in this video, then hey, stay tuned for the next one. But until next time, I'll see you all later. Homes out. Okay, so after re-watching the video, I realized that I totally forgot about the bonfire. So here it is, guys. Um, after you drop down from the route that the Viking is standing at, just keep going straight. Don't go near where the crabs is at. And... Just come over here and the bonfire is right there. And it's a pretty important bonfire to light before fighting the boss. Which we will take on in the next episode. But yeah, until next time, I'll see you later. For real, this time. Alright, see ya.